Hey, what's up, super dads? Oh, that was a little bit loud. Sorry about that. So, uh, I come to you today with a solution for all of those, <laughs> for all those out there who are interested in a chest expander, but who, for whatever reason, can't get their hands on one or don't want to make the investment in a decent one. Uh, now, if you don't know what a chest expander is, then I'm kind of confused why you clicked on this video, but you're here now, you might as well keep watching. Uh, chest expander is something that was used by strong men of old uh, and sort of golden era bodybuilders and those sorts of things. And it's essentially two handles with springs, metal springs connecting the two handles. And the idea was that you would pull it apart like this and um, it's, it's less of a, <laughs> what? It's not a, so much of a chest workout uh, though the name would suggest that it's a chest workout, but it's more that you're expanding your chest when you do it. Now, uh, there was a video, Alex Leonidas, who is a uh, natural bodybuilder and a YouTube star influencer, made a video about chest expanders a while ago about how he was using them and, and uh, it looked pretty interesting to me. Seemed like it might be a cool exercise to give a try to. And the problem for me was that I live in Japan and getting a decent one would be a super big pain in the butt. And even then it would cost a ton of money, which I'm not willing to put out for a piece of equipment that I don't even know how much I would use. Then it occurred to me one day that I might have a solution right at hand. And in fact, when I tried it, it worked out very, very well. And that solution is a cheap piece of rubber band. Resistance band. This red resistance band is one of the first things that I recommend people get, people who want to get into doing resistance training at home. It is super versatile, uh, you know, great for raises, bicep curls, and in fact, um, the Synergy Strength Home or Equipmentless program it's not entirely equipmentless. You need towels, you need chairs, and you do need one of these to do it. But that's it, that's it. You don't need anything else to do the whole program. But that's how versatile one of these things can be. And what I figured out was that if you just take the, take the, take the resistance band, eh? And that is its normal state in nature. You just create a, an eight shape, fold it over this way, and end up with a double band like this. The thing works basically identical to a chest expander, at least for me, with my limb length and the size of my body, it works basically identical. Now, I've never actually used a high quality chest expander, so I can't say that it's exactly the same kind of, you know, resistance curve or anything like that, but this thing is tough to use. And a chest expander, you know, is easy in the beginning, this part. Now, this is not all that easy in the beginning, but it gets a lot harder. But that's okay because your muscles also get stronger as you as you expand them. So what the exercise basically looks like is you're just gonna grab it like this and then keeping your arms as straight as you possibly can, you're going to go to a full wingspan sort of position. Now, that's not easy. I just did three. I, I've gotten four in the past. I'm a little bit fatigued right now, so I might not be able to do the last one, but it's a, it's a strength move. I mean, you're only able to do four of these with a little band like this. At least that's what I'm only able to do. Four of those with a little band like that, right? Which tells you that it must be a pretty tough exercise. And it's hitting the rear delts, the rear shoulders, it's hitting the traps. There's some lat in it as well. And just in general, these sort of expanding movements like this, I have had a lot of good results with. Another one would be pullovers, like dumbbell pullovers like this. The range of motion on them isn't perfect, but the stretch and expansion that you get in the open position there, I feel like it, uh, I don't know, helps to develop the, the sort of strength of the rib cage and muscles in a, in a kind of way that a lot of other things don't. And I know that, uh, you know, like the old Nautilus pullover machines are something that, that a lot of hit advocates are really in, in the tank for. They love those things uh, because a pullover is such a great lat exercise. 
So this is, I get a similar feeling from this, this expanded position, right? And it's also great because you can do it in a yielding isometric style as well. So pull this apart and see if you can, not in a fully pulled out position, because there, there's a bit of uh, skeletal structure holding it, but in a sort of just shy of fully expanded position and hold it. And that's pretty intense. That's pretty intense. Another thing for those of us who are in the bag for hit or who are really trying to stick to hit principles, like I don't know if this is a great exercise that you would do as part of a hit uh, workout routine. But I find that I like doing it as sort of on my off days, right? Because it's really a strength move, uh, at least that's the way it feels to me. It's like if I have a day where I'm not, I'm not scheduled to work out or I'm not feeling like uh, doing a full workout or something like that, I can practice my strength. Just like I practice strength doing isometrics on my off days, right? and sending a little bit of a signal to my body that I'm valuing the strength and it really should build some muscle and, and increase my ability to output force, that kind of stuff. I use isometrics that way in a supplemental way, a way to increase frequency without dealing a lot of damage. This seems to me like another really good way to do that because it requires a lot of strength to do just one rep. So if you do two or three reps and stop short of failure, you're sending a signal to your body that you want it to be strong enough to be able to do this. Now, you may not be hitting failure, which, or, or you know, you know, uh, you may not be getting to failure, which is certainly going to drive probably more adaptation there. But you are sending, you are creating a lot of mechanical tension. Let's put it that way. And because you're only doing a couple reps, you're not doing that much damage. There's not a whole lot that your body needs to recover to. It's a lot more of a neurological uh, stimulus, I think. That's kind of the way I feel about it. So, you know, just like uh, if you're like gonna do powerlifting or something like that, right? Um, you know, squatting once every two weeks or something like that would be insane. You need to practice the move, practice being strong, practice living hefty weight, heavy, lifting heavy weights if you wanna lift heavy weights sort of deal. But this is essentially a heavy weight that you can have laying around your house and you can just walk up and grab it and go. And it feels good and it, you know, it, I just like it. So that's a solution to having a chest expander. One last thing that's really cool about it, with a chest expander, you can add or remove springs to make it hard. So when you get strong enough that you can do a bunch of reps with a certain number of springs, you add a spring to it, and that's the way that you progressively overload. And you might be thinking, well, how the heck do you do that with this? Well, certainly you could you know, keep your arms a little bit straighter. Like if I do it like this, right, it's not nearly the same effect. It feels very different than if I really open it. And actually feels like it's hitting kind of slightly different muscles. But there is another little tricky uh, secret here, which is the number of fingers that you use. Now that sounds silly, but if I go down to two fingers and do it, it is significantly easier. Or the middle two fingers, perhaps. Right? Three. Oh, now I can't even do it now, right? Because uh, I'm, <laughs> I've gotten to that level of tiredness. And I've tried four when I'm totally fresh, four fingers inside, and it's like a huge jump in difficulty. So, like, I'll do three until I feel like I can do, f my goal would be to do three enough that I can then get all four fingers in there and, and do it. You would be surprised because the band is doubled over, just adding one more finger in there absolutely changes the level of difficulty that you're dealing with. So if you're interested in chest expander style exercise, real cheap solution here. These things are like 10 bucks, thousand yen, where, you know, depending where you are. I, I've, I've gotten people in you know South Africa and Australia the Philippines, of course, the United States and Japan, all lots of countries around the world have been, you know, worked with as clients, and anybody can get this for you know ten ish bucks. Very cheap, very versatile, and uh, 
now you have one more thing to do with it. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out any of the programs I talked about, I actually just recently refilmed all of the material for the free three minute muscle course. And it went from being a 20 minute course to being a 40 minute course. So a lot more information in there, a lot more instruction about how to perform different exercise modalities correctly. Uh, I also switched platforms to Udemy, so it's really easy to use. It's got an app and everything, uh, just the Udemy app, super easy to log in and everything. So you can check out the links for the free three minute muscle course below and uh, find a real, real easy way to get into the resistance training if you are a newbie to it or if you just want some new takes on how to approach exercise. And then there is the expanded program, the Synergy Strength Bodyweight program that uses one of those bands. For the three minute muscle program, you don't need anything, but the, uh, the band goes with the Synergy Strength Bodyweight program. And I'm working on a dumbbell program as well, Synergy Strength Dumbbell program coming soon to a Udemy site near you. So you'll find the links for that stuff in my descriptions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.